haven't you heard of uh, First Novel TV? Home of Nollywood movies. Subscribe now. First Nolly TV. Don't talk that. Even the nicest people have their limits. And when being pushed to that limit, they become the scariest motherfuckers you can ever deal with in your entire life. I remember asking you never to, I mean, cross my path again. Yes, you did. But I have come to remind you, Chantel, that we have a bond. Yet ago, you cannot and will never help Calvin and Vivian. Remember the rules of engagement and everything that is involved in it. Talking about what I did, nay, I did what I had to do. I did it to survive. Now what for you, Asaka? I can see that what you actually did is paying off. Oh yes. <laughs> Chantel, it is. But can you name my and that in block. I have worked so hard to attain this level, Chantel. And anybody that tries to bring me down, that person money I get so now six feet. Simple. Well, your message has been delivered. But please, this should be the very first and the last time you will be crossing my path or even coming close to anything that belongs to me. Not even my house. Chantel, we are both daughters of Poseidon. You cannot lock the gate of your house from me. After all, no bona ayencha. You cannot lock the gate of your house from me. <laughs> Juliet. Akwe mani si kote. Oburu. Abulomi si kote oburu. Isi kote laana ebu awaloso. Odogu, look to Igwe Kaiwa. We shall see. Madam, I can put her update. I can put her update. 2023 version. That's in good. <laughs> I should have waited for Chantel to return with the random guy. So that I will risk my life, eh, Kwa? Do you know how many times she tried that day and failed? How am I supposed to know that that one is going to work? Bia, Linda, I want to ask you away, girl. Whose side are you on? It's not about sight. It's about the truth. Don't forget why in this game together. And I have to look out for my sisters and also avoid war. I am a woman of war. Let the sound of war begin. Yet ago, I can dance any pattern, including solo get. Oja that one. Yet ago. for to involve the police in this. Your husband is still at the mortuary and they are already on your neck and they went as far as threatening you to take an oath and you are here seated without telling anybody, even your parents. Like you said, 
My husband is still in the mortuary, but I bet you I am handling this situation better. You need to involve the police and the human rights lawyer. Look, you are pregnant for your husband and nobody knows if he's going to be a boy since they forcefully want to take your husband's property simply because you don't have a male child. Hmm. Which is a demonic reason to claim another man's property, leaving the wife and children with nothing. Which I understand everything you're saying. But trust me, I will handle it in my own way. Whichever way you want to handle it, don't make them take away all your husband's property from you or even make you swear in any shirai. No problem. I will handle it. Thank you so much. Just now handle it. Okay? A home in. A home in the way. Called on here on the phone. He refused to pick my call. He refused to pick my call. Wait, oh. Could it be that Onya is planning to marry her and take over my brother's property? Or could it be that both of them are planning to, to sell all my brother's properties and run away with the money? Because I don't trust Onya. Onya always have his way around women. Yes. Onya can cut Joe Eunice into doing what she don't want to do. No. Oh, mommy. Oh, mommy. I don't need to underrate Ndukwe or Eunice, especially that boy Ndukwe. He is so desperate to take over Chinedu's properties, and I must never allow that to happen. Because from the look of things, I may end up not benefiting anything if he finally succeeds in acquiring the properties. He has done that before, and he can do it again. He knows the hearts of all the native doctors in and outside this community, and I don't. He knows all the bad boys in this community, and I don't either. This is not a man I can work with or pose as his enemy. I must change my strategy and penetrate Eunice more than strike. I suspect he's going to Eunice's house. This old man seems very serious with marrying Eunice just to take over my brother's properties. And you think it will happen? It will never happen. Not even when I'm alive. It will never happen. Sis, I won't lie to you. You need to pay more attention to your friend Eunice. Or her husband brother will kill her and take all the property from her husband. I tried speaking with her, but she keeps telling me that she has plans, which I'm sure she does not. I even heard her husband's people are accusing her of the sudden death of the husband. <laughs> Don't worry. I will pay her a visit this evening. Everything will be all right with her. Don't worry. I would really appreciate that if you do. You are connected and I'm sure you can use your contact to rescue her from those demons claim to be her husband relatives. I will pay her a visit this evening. Things will be fine with her.
That is exactly what you're going to do if they ever disturb you again about your husband's property. It's not a bad idea. Mm. I will do exactly what you said. He was such a nice man. Yes. He was such a loving husband. So caring. We all miss him. Yes. I miss my husband. I miss my husband. Sorry, young man, what are you doing beside my car? Any problem? I am asking you a question. I have made it clear to you on countable times that this fight is between me and Vivian. You have no business in it. I can see and perceive that you've decided to make this little issue a big one. <laughs> Chantel, I must warn you. Stay off my path to avoid loggerhead. Can't avoid the one so I'm a commission jekuru. You slept with him. You've made him mad. You left your friend heartbroken. What sort of human being are you? What sort of an integrated nuisance are you? I need to understand it. All I did was to pick up the pieces of our life the way I picked up your miserable life. Look at you today. You have grown wings. You can now challenge me. You now threaten me with war. Someone that I picked from the gutters. <laughs> well, if I were you, I will be bothered, I mean, bothered about the thing that is about to hit me. You know why? Because it is going to consume you. Other than stopping me every time, dishing at words, it is not necessary. <laughs> you have a lot of work to do. At least, someone still remembered in her retracted mind your small intellectual potent that I made you and I can also destroy you. I am that one person that you, Chantel, can never destroy, even if you want to. You know why? Because everything you know, I know to wise of it. Mm -hmm. Chantel, stay off my path. You are even pointing your fingers at me. I have already raised the demon to destroy you. Oh, she will so devour you. When the ear refuses to hear, it becomes a meal to the vultures. <laughs> <laughs> we shall see about that.
all these everyday confrontations not good. And if you ask me, creating enmity will only leave you weak and alone. But having an ally will make you strong and great. You know, she promised to keep to her words. I am so surprised to see her helping Vivian. In fact, both of them are fighting me. I'm an apple, my apple. I go on in Campbell. I'm not a man, quite, quite. You have to pay attention to every detail so they don't outsmart you. And if you don't keep your mouth shut, if you keep on making noise, trust me, they will take you by surprise. Oh, 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 oh. Now I understand it better. When Chantal told me that she has raised a demon that is going to devour me. Hey! Hi! She disclosed everything that happened to Calvin to Vivian. Promising her that she is going to reclaim her man and get vengeance once she comes on board. Hi! But how... How did they even pay you? Hey! Now I understand it better. Hi! Hi! Linda! Doctor, please. I need you to tell me the truth. Is he going to be fine? Like I told you, he's going to be fine. We've run a series of tests. There's no trace of drug in his blood. As I'm talking to you now, so many tests are ongoing. I'm reassuring you by the end of tomorrow, we'll have diagnosed what is wrong with him. You people should be lucky that you brought him to the hospital on time. Oh, thank God. Doctor, please, just do whatever you can do to make him fine. I promise money is not going to be a problem. Please. It will be fine. I want you to put yourself together. Your friends will be fine. But what about your friend? She's on her way. She'll soon be here. Okay. In my 15 years as a medical doctor, I've not had experience that a patient will disappear from this hospital without any trace. I've reported the matter to the police and they promised us to get to the root of this matter. I don't understand who. It is a case of my who, who disappeared without any Just trace? Just put yourself together. Doctor, I'm asking you who disappeared without any trace. Just calm down. Police are on the Doctor, please, please. Who did I offend? Who did I offend? Just Doctor, you have to find my girlfriend. Who did I offend? Put yourself together. Please, Doctor, don't tell me that. I left my Kelvin here. Who? Just did this No, I was like, no! If you get to find out where she's hiding your man, Kelvin, all you need to do is sleep with him. He's going to regain his sanity. Juliet is going to die, you better still run mad and go to the streets. How do I find Kelvin? Yeah, it's going to be very hard, yes, that I know. But you have to reclaim your man by sleeping with him. Chantel, why are you being this nice to me? <laughs> it's very simple. You know, you were a nice woman, a nice lady. And I always want to be on the right path. Juliet disobeyed me. 
and threatened to go into war with me, her godmother. I am going to teach her the hard way. That bastard, she knew fully where that sleeping with Chinedu Eunice's husband was going to kill him. She went ahead and slept with him. What did you eat in the meeting, no? Did you eat anything in the meeting? It's a lie. Hey! What, what is that? What is that now? Wait. What happened? Now the question is, why is she always going after people's, I mean our men? You see, I have to put a stop to this. That way she won't even have the access to my future man. Who knows? That is why I am doing this. My father threatened to kill me simply because I asked him why he came to your house to threaten you to leave me. What do they want from us? Why, why don't they want to see me with the only woman whom I have loved so much? When has love turned into hate? Why is my father doing this? Too many questions to ask. <sighs> but now is not the time to ask those questions. Now is the time for us to bond. Time for us to take our relationship to another level. How? Too small to challenge dumb Phyllis. I would take you to the cleaner. Now, let the movie train stop! What is wrong with your manhood? Why is it not standing? I don't know. I don't rub it again into stand. We have been robbing it. Have you been expressing this? No. It was standing when we were kissing. All of a sudden, he went down. What is wrong? I think you need to ask your father. He's the only one that doesn't like our relationship. And I believe he has gone spiritual to tie down your manhood. What? How do you mean? Victor might not have answers to all the questions. If a man can go out of his way to threaten his only son, 
He can also stop us from advancing in our relationship. Okay, let me position well. I've opened it for you. Rub it. Rub stuff. what? Rub it well. Rub, Victor, rub what? Listen, if you like, bring five beautiful girls from Dominican Republic. It will not stand. Yes. Your father has the keys to your manhood. And he decides who you be with and who you sleep with. So it is left for you to get up. Is it that you go to your father, confront him and be free or remain a slave to your father? What? Then rub it again. I can't rub it. Do it like I this. I can't do it like that. That's the truth. Okay, put it inside. for now so that my my mouth will stand again your mouth will stay in your body why do you think i'm the one stopping you from the right thing that i know what you're capable of i know you did this and i know you cannot do it so i beg you in the name of my mother restore my manhood let it stand again because any dim this thing is good you don't know what your father is capable of Sit. I did this one. Don't feel if you have taken this war to another level and you will hear from me. You've saved him today. Tomorrow you will not save him. I will squeeze the life out of your son the way you cut the, the life of my mother. I am going to get even, I swear I will mark my words. I am a pregnant, cracky woman with insomnia. They say the best revenge is living well. But I say it's acid in the face. For now, the only thing you'll do with your manhood is to urinate. Dad, please. Don't please me. Victor, don't please me. You are my only son and my best friend. But he chose to be on the side of a young lady who brought war to our doorsteps. A young lady who swore to bring down my lineage by squeezing the life out of you, which is, is almost, almost succeeding. If not that I restrained your manhood from penetrating her, you would have been dead by now. You would have been lying dead in that room. Lifeless. Okay, Father, please, um, what would you have me do so you can restore it? You are making use of it. Stop going for her. Stay away from her, from that demonic daughter of Poseidon. She might be younger than you, but in the spiritual realm, she's as old as I am. So powerful! The wall is between me and her. You stay away from her. You better start to live without your manhood because that is the only and easiest way for her to kill you. Once you penetrate her demonic vagina, you will die. I better hold back your manhood until you prove that you can handle everything. Dadu, are you saying you will not restore my manhood? It 
It's my move. If I were you, I'll go upstairs and take a shower. Please, get me a cup of juice. A glass of juice. Hi. Haven't you heard of the first Nolly TV? Home of Nollywood movies. Subscribe now. First Nolly TV. Don't touch that.